Hello beautiful people, thank you for clicking onto this video. We are going to do a pick a card to see will they contact you and um, we're going to be able to tell from what comes up here in the reading with regards to them actually reaching out or not. So let's get started. Please choose one of the roses that you see on the screen, rose one, rose two or rose three. There are timestamps in the description box below. Just go there and click straight onto the rose that you've chosen. Pause if you have to and uh, let's get started for rose number one. How are you guys doing? I hope you are good. Uh, this reading is for somebody who is not in contact with a person right now. So you've got no contact. You don't really know what's going on with them. And we're going to be able to tell from what comes up here in this reading. Um, if you can maybe hear from them again or if they are thinking about you even considering to reach out. We'll tell more as we go into the reading. So let's get the main energy out. I am going to break this down into two people's energies, yours and theirs, so we can get a better idea of what is going on. Let's have a look. Wow. Okay. <laughs> wow. The two of cups. This is the main energy of the of this rose number one. Okay. You what you need to know is this is coming together. So there is a very, very strong possibility that somebody is thinking about coming back or contacting you. Um, but what I can see from the main energy as well, because this would represent the basic relationship, there is and there was love here. I still think that there is love there now. Um, I wonder what is causing you not to have contact here. But there is love between you and this person. There is love. There is emotion. There is feelings attached here. And I think if it's coming up as the energy as being of now, it's still showing that those feelings are still here even now. So let's see on their side. Wow. Wow. Remember, this is a general reading. So this is their energy. This is your energy, but you can reverse it as well. Just take what resonates with you. This is beautiful. Guys, what's up here? No, this is another connection. Um, This is, I don't know what made you guys fall out of communication with each other, but the connection is very deep because you not only have got the two of cups, but you've got the two of wands in the spread your wings. I really think you do think about this person. Um, you, this may be the person that you're finding it very hard to let go of. Okay. There's something very interesting happening by them. Um, you may think about them. I feel like you're open to allowing them to come back in or hearing what they've got to say with them. There is some kind of difficulty that they're facing. And I'm wondering what that is. We're going to go a little bit deeper in here with the clarity of belief. This is the Ace of Swords energy. They do want to come back and reconnect with you. You can just see it from the first card coming together. But there is something here that's holding them back. And I kind of like just want to see what is that? Um, what is holding them back here? What is this clarity of belief about? Because what I'm picking up on there, there's something that needs to change in their world or in their life or in their thoughts with regards to approaching you. And until that change has happened, they, they will not yet reach out. There's a shift that needs to occur here. It's either something in their life, in their world that needs to change. And when that changes, they're going to reach out to you. It can even be just them thinking, like maybe they're feeling that you would not be open to them and they may be wrong or they're really up in their head thinking a lot of things that are not even really happening. You know, most of the things that we are so afraid of, most of the things that are happening around us is literally happening mostly in our mind. You know what I mean? So let's get some cards out there to see what's going on. Yeah, they're waiting for something to shift here. Again, this is really interesting. you got the Wheel of Fortune coming up here. So the Wheel of Fortune talks about there's something wrong in their world. And it, they could be going through a bit of a hard time right now as well with regards to what is going on in their world in general. The Queen of Wands energy. Um, there is a lot of people around them. That's what I can tell. With the Queen of Wands coming up here, there is a lot of people around them. So there is, seems to be some kind of... I don't know how to put it. It almost seems like a run of bad luck or a long, like a list of things that have been going wrong with them, one thing after another, after another. And that's why they have this Ace of Swords, because to overcome this energy of the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse position, they have to be strong enough to face any difficulties, solve them and overcome them and move on. Um, I feel like they're a little bit torn between two different worlds here. It's very interesting. I'm going to get your info more out for you as well. I feel like they're torn between... This is interesting. It's heart and mind, but it's not heart and mind. 
it's like how interesting is this it's like two elements of who they are and one part of them wants this and then the other part of them wants that this is the queen of wands energy that is a lot of friends a lot of people a lot of going out a lot of even partying you know that kind of energy of like when you go party it's like woohoo every weekend um, my friends call me and I'm, and I'm going and um, there can be a lot of people around a lot of good times and overindulging in many different things and they don't they go and do these kinds of things and they go out there with these people or friends and um, they don't really find what they want there and what they really want is to come back towards you but there's a weakness in them, I'm sorry to put it that way, um, that keeps attracting them to the easy way of doing things. And the easy way is not paying off either. They're going to have to overcome this. So let's let's look for you. Let's look into your energy. And we're going to get some other cards out here that's going to show a final outcome for you guys. I do believe this person wants to reach out to you. But you may have actually told them, I love you. I would love to be with you. But... Not with this behavior. With this kind of back and forth, back and forth, I can't do that. And they know if they're still continuing in the behavior that they haven't yet changed from when you guys maybe split up or didn't talk to each other anymore. They still got it in them and that's what makes them not come in. Because they still can't, they haven't yet... Um, it's like when you make a decision to do something, you say, you know, I'm going to focus on this. There are always sacrifices that need to get made. Um, for instance, uh, me with the tarot readings, it takes up a lot of my day. I'm doing this on a full-time basis with personal readings, with the YouTube as well, and other uh, platforms as well. And it takes up the whole part of my day, and I spend most of my time at home. The sacrifice is that I don't really get to go out a lot, and I don't really get to know a lot of different people outside of you guys out there and uh, but that's the sacrifice I make because of what I know that I want they're not yet willing to make that sacrifice they're still in it so let's see for you three of cups energy you want to make you 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 are the same kind of back and forth energy um you want to celebrate to have them to come back and this is the thing I feel like this person with the queen of wands being in their energy they're actually a really really fun person to be around and being with them you get taken into this world where you start to be with their friends there's a lot of laughing there's a lot of fun times there's a lot of things happening here but at the same time it causes you also a lot of pain it causes you to get worried about, I think you can do it for a specific amount of time. I do feel like when they come in, they're like, let's go. We're going to this friend's house, my friend's house, and we're doing A, B, and C. Because this person's got a lot of energy. Um, and you go with them and you're like enjoying it as well. Look at that. That's the party. You know, we're having fun. But you can only do so much. And then a specific part of you goes, now it's time to to come together and to be a partnership with the two of wands it talks about two people moving forward together as a partnership not as a group of people you see these two cards indicate that friends and all those things and when they keep on wanting to be in this energy it's what makes you it's what makes you get worried about the future so i think they do want to come in but i feel like it's what you told them that makes them not come in because they haven't yet changed and that you and you also cannot change you have to do what's making you happy as well let's get some final outcomes here for you guys let's have a look and see nine of wands energy so it's not that they don't want to come in really it is not that they i want to move this up i want to put some more cards out here i feel like it's not that they they're out of control there's problems here um the star card you want this you really would love to have this um with them it, you you know what you want out of life that's what I like. You got uh, the star card coming up there. Uh, the star card coming up here, which is Pisces. The devil card there, which is Capricorn's energy as well. This is, I'm not surprised to see the devil card coming up. I'm really not surprised because the devil card talks about everything that I was explaining about this person. Uh, it's attachments. It's um, uh, 
can even be things like addictions, out of control behavior, chaotic world, chaotic life. Think of the devil in itself. The devil energy in the tarot is not a negative energy. It is a good vibe. It is a good energy. It's for, you know, when you've got that passion and that drive to accomplish something, it would be the devil energy. You know, I want to have success in my life. I want to have an amazing relationship. That's the devil energy. But when the devil energy gets into the reverse position, it's when we lose control of our everyday life. We are going to those parties. We are out of control. We are not doing the things that are right. They are out of control. Their clarity of belief, they know in their mind what is good for them, but they don't have that willpower to make that choice and do it. You know what I mean? It's like somebody wanting to quit smoking and they know they need to quit smoking, but they can't quit smoking and they just carry on doing it. Um, with you, you know exactly what you want. You got the star card there. You know what you want out of your life. You know what lifestyle you want, what kind of a relationship you want. And I think you also know, even if they had to come back to you, you know as well that if they haven't changed, you wouldn't be able to be with them still. So the problem is not that they don't want to come back to you. They haven't changed from who they are. And there is your major problem. Um, I think let's get one more card out for you guys. I just feel like getting one more out. Let's see what your spirit guides have got to say. The last word here. I do feel like they want to come back. But they, if they do contact you, you're going to see that they haven't changed. And that's where the problem is going to come in. Yeah, they might contact you. Literally, they might contact you. Um, a randomly out of the blue kind of energy. I do feel like you're going to get contact from them. Yes. They may have done this before, contact you very quickly. And it's very interesting because this is the ace of the eight of wands and that is the nine of wands. They will contact you, but I think as you do get into contact with them, you're going to see that they're still doing this and you're going to see that their behavior is still back and forth, wanting this but not dedicated enough to go for it. And you will put up your walls again against them because you know exactly what it is you do want. And it's not this kind of behavior. The star card does not want the reverse devil living in this world here. So it's not that they don't want to contact you. It's that they're coming in still the way that they were. So I think even if they do come in, which they can unexpectedly do, you're literally going to see that nothing has changed. I'm really sorry to say that. Um, remember, it's a general reading. So if it doesn't resonate with you, then you know this is not your energy. But if I'm telling you so many things here that are resonating with you, then it is a, a, a little heads up as about to how they currently are. Um, it doesn't mean that they don't love you. They just don't have that self-control in some kind of way to make that decision and to go for what they know is really good for them because it requires them to change and I don't think at this point in time they're willing to do so. There we go. Rose number one, thank you so much for coming in. I'm sending my love and my light in your direction. Bye. Hello Rose number two, how are you? Let's have a look and see. Will you have contact from them again. I am going to divide um, the reading up between two different energies, you and your person. And then we're going to get a basic, more deeper look and to see uh, what is going on between you and them and then see if they will actually reach out and contact you again. The main card I'm going to take out is going to be the base of this reading, the main energy of what is going on here. So let's see what's going on. Oof, you got the eight coming up here. This is the strength card. Um, it says control. This is also Leo's energy as well. There's two things going on here. First of all, ooh, there's a lot going on here. What's going on, Rose number two? First of all, um, somebody has been... Uh, there's somebody's definitely been going through a rough time here, but there's another energy coming through. I feel like there's somebody else that's kind of stalking another person. I don't know who that is. Hey, if it's you... I've been there, I've done that, don't worry. Um, kind of like watching them, trying to find out what they're doing, trying to see basically what is up with them, what are they doing now, all those kinds of information. Um, there's another person who feels like they cannot handle the situation. They cannot handle the connection and they may have left because of that. They feel like they're not strong enough to deal with it or they just don't want to deal with it. Um, with the word control coming up here as well, I cannot ignore that. There could be somebody as well trying to control what, how the outcome of this is going. 
Okay, so let's have a look in their energy. Remember, it can be reversed as well. This is definitely somebody holding back. This is the observe energy. And I told you there's somebody watching somebody else. I told you. I told you. There's somebody who watches somebody else. It could be them watching you. It could be you watching them as well. It's really, it's hard to tell actually. Um, with this energy, it can be there. The, really, it's the hangman energy in this tarot deck. And it is them holding back from you. But it doesn't mean they're not checking up on you. Okay. So if it's not you that's watching them, you're not going, or you could be doing it to each other. I'm just saying. So there's a lot of... Uh, it's interesting, I kind of like feel that there's a bit of unfinished business here between you and them. There's too much uh, inquis inquisitiveness about what they're doing and you, they want to know what you're doing. So there's something that's unfinished here. Let's see your energy. We've got temperance coming up here as well, which is the Sagittarius energy balance. You're being very, very careful. With temperance coming up, it's always that energy of, I must be careful what I do here. You could be being careful for many reasons. It's like, I need to really think about what am I doing? Um, if I reach out to them, I may not get a response, you know? Uh, maybe you have tried that and they haven't responded because they got the hangman energy of holding back, trying to figure things out. Um, at the same time, you may be wanting to hold back because, uh, or even be careful how you approach a situation because doing something wrong can literally cause you guys maybe never to get back together again or be totally broken up with each other. A uh, wrong move will like almost be a disaster energy. So let's go a bit deeper in here. Let's have a look into their energy there and see exactly what's going on with them in this hangman observing energy. Definitely, I feel like this person's still somehow around you, even if it means they're just watching you on social media kind of a thing. I am seeing the eyes there, you know. So let's have a look and see. Definitely gone cold here the emperor energy they could be somebody there's something here that has really upset them okay um got an eight of wands coming up with the emperor in the reverse position which is also aries's energy as well so you've got leo you've got sagittarius you've got aries here what i can tell you is that they acting very cold with the emperor they're acting like they just don't care but they do I'm sorry, but they do. Um, they're doing it to, so they don't uh, seem weak. They're doing it so that they don't seem like, somehow I just, I'm hearing this from Spirit Guide, and it's like, like they don't seem like the one who got hurt or the weaker person or like they don't want to seem weak to those around them. It's like when people ask, like, oh, so what's going on? between you and my rose number twos, you know what I mean? They're like, ah, oh, nothing, man. It's just nothing. Everything's just fine. And actually, everything is not just fine. They're not really doing that well, especially because the strength card has come up here. It's hard situation. Um, there is definitely something there with the eight of wands that has happened very quickly that they do not like. Okay, so I'm going to go a bit deeper in there and see what happened that made this emperor go, I don't like that, you see. So let's go in here and have a look at your energy and we can get a better picture of what is exactly going on here. Let's see. Something about stability. And you got the hangman as well. What game are you guys playing with each other? Both of you got the hangman. Both of you are holding back. Both of you are going, I'm watching you. And the other one's going, I'm watching you too. If you are like checking on their social media or checking, like if you got their number and for instance, they're on an app like WhatsApp, um, you may even check when they were last online and what time that was. For instance, if you, um, you know they got a social media out there somewhere, you may be going to check every time they post a new post. Even if you're not following them, you could be checking on them. Okay. Um, it's very interesting. I feel like both of you are doing this to each other. I actually picked it up from both sides. So I was like, it can be anything. It possibly both of you got the hangman. Okay. And that also tells me that both of you are as well... Uh, holding back from each other that's the energy of the temperance as well i want to reach out but let me just be careful i'm just gonna wait and see what happens here maybe they'll reach out to me and they could be saying the very same thing but you've got this three of pentacles here the three of pentacles really talks about stability it talks about two people coming together possibly even getting married why and that could be in your energy but it could also be something that they didn't like um, what is this? Let's have a go in here. Let's ask some questions because I'm now curious. What caused this eight of wands to be turned in the reverse position? 
Let's have a look. What caused the Eight of Wands to be turned into the reverse position? What happened quickly that they did not like? Let's see what will come up for you guys. What is this? This has got to do with this offer. It's you coming in here. This is so strange. I'm just going to put this card because I didn't do it for the, any, uh, any of the others, but there's questions that need to be asked. This is definitely about you guys getting together and being a couple. It's the Ace of Cups that has come up here. This is definitely about you coming in and going, you know, let's be with each other. Let's date. You know, let's think about long-term relationship. What made them pull back after that? Maybe they are not interested. Let's see what they thought about this Three of Pentacles here. This is definitely an offer of love. What made them pull away from it like that? What made them not like it? Let's see. The Six of Wands energy. Huh. One more card. No, this is a real, real interesting reading. It's like, wow, what is going on here between you and them? I think you're wondering the same thing. Why did this go like this? It's the Three of Pentacles again. This person may not want commitment. Not now. Because of the Six of Wands being in the reverse position. They may have accepted the Cup of Love, but they don't want to accept the Three of Pentacles. There's a three of pentacles has come up here twice and the two hangman energies. They may have even said, um, I'm not ready now. I'll contact you later or I'll come back later when I'm ready to settle down. And you could be going, I'm actually ready to settle down. And they just go, no, I'm focusing on ABC, my work, my life, my everything else. You know what I mean? Because that's the energy of the emperor. The emperor can be pretty cold and not really, they're focusing a lot on business, on money and on themselves as well. A little bit selfish, I'm just saying. That does come up sometimes in the emperor energy. Let's see what spirit guide will show us here with regards to this connection. The moon card here. There's a truth that they haven't told you. Pisces is energy as well. It's coming right underneath this control energy here. There is a truth that they have not told you about them. Jeez, you're reading. There's so much mysteries going on. There's so many unanswered questions here. I'm just like, what is going on? There is an untold truth that they haven't told you. The Knight of Swords. I, I, I don't want to be funny, but... There's a chance that you are being led on a little bit here by this person, giving you a lot of um, a lot of hope for the future and making you feel like this was going to become a very stable connection. And then at the end of the day, I think they were never intending that. I think they intended just, just to be a thing. They're not looking for long-term commitment here in this connection. And I think that is the truth because of that Knight of Swords there. That Knight of Swords, it's, it's a cutting out energy. It's like very quick, very cutting energy. Queen of Pentacles, yeah, they gave you the idea that it was going to be this. Um, I honestly, we, we, are you going to hear from them again? Are you going to hear from them? Let's ask that straight question. Because the energy that's coming up here, it's, it's very... Uh, I feel like you've been lied to, you've been led on a little bit by this person to make you to make you believe that this was going to be something much more than what they actually planned it to be. No, you're not going to hear from them again. I don't feel like they want to reach out to you. Um, the Ace of Swords in the reverse position. That's the straight answer I asked. Will you hear from them again? It, and it's funny. Be careful that they don't lead you on. It's this control energy here. Be careful that they don't. You know, you see them like on Instagram. You've got those stories that we post, you know. And then you can see who viewed your story. And there can be times that they're even viewing your story. It's a little bit of a manipulation tactic that they use. If they are doing that, this person has no intention to come in here and give you the three of pentacles. That's what they're lying about, this whole middle row here. And um, they never intended it from the beginning with the knight of swords being in the reverse position and giving you the queen of pentacles. It's always been in the reverse position. And it, they're making you for some reason have hope by actions that they're taking. By, like I said, you know, liking a post or viewing a story or this may be the words that they spoke to you when they left you or when you guys separated they said stuff that gave you hope that maybe they'll be back and maybe in the future that something will happen and that was almost like false advertising you know what I mean because I don't feel like they have that intention of doing so um, even if you had to reach out to them if you see them viewing your stories like say, I'm using that Instagram thing because we're always on social media, you know what I mean? And you're wondering, does this person still like me? Do they want to be with me? Are they viewing my stories? Even if you had to message them 
for instance, and go like, hey, you know, and you view their stories as well, and you're hoping that they get the message, um, it's giving them a little bit of satisfaction if you do so, because they're not intending to answer you. Even you may have done this already, and they're very short and like, fine. And you're like, how are you? That good. One word. You know what I mean? You're like, I was, you know, just wondering how you're doing. They're like, fine. They don't like, give you a sentence. They just give you a word. That's not good. Okay, then they're just playing with your emotions. Yeah. So there is a definite energy of them in a control energy. But just know that uh, they won't reach out to you. And it's almost like they get some kind of satisfaction that you reach out to them. So be careful there. Thank you, Rose number two. Mag Come into your reading. We are going to see if they will contact you again. And um, this is going to be somebody that you're currently not in contact with so you may not know what is going on with them um, what are they thinking what are they doing are we going to get out two different energies here and basically see what's going on with them and what is going on with you and see is there some kind of sign of them possibly reaching out and then also a bit deeper and see if they did reach out what is the outcome because i know the spirit guides will literally go deeper on every little thing so let's get into this and have a look and see current main energy clarity of belief Wow, somebody knows what they want here. Um, this is Ace of Swords energy. It tells me there has been some hard times. There has been some difficulties here in this situation. But at the same time, it's almost like there is one of you or even both of you that knows exactly what you want. So let's have a look and see. A card got my attention. In their energy, it's a master energy, which is the devil card, which is Capricorn's energy as well. Um... From what I'm picking up on here, I just want to see what's in your energy here, and then I'll tell you. And we're going to go deeper into these cards as well. It seems to me, from what I'm picking up on, they do want to reach out to you. It seems like this person does want to reach out to you. So let's have a look and see. You, you're not sure. <laughs> You've got the five of wands energy. You're really not sure about this. You're back and forth in your mind about them actually reaching out to you. Um... I do feel like you're going to hear from this person. i got to tell you straight out now. I feel like you're going to hear from them. But some of the things, it's, there's unsolved problems. That's the problem. You know what I mean? If they reach out to you with the master energy, which is the devil energy, they can come in here very passionately. Okay. Very, uh, almost seductively in a, in a kind of way. Very charming. Very, um, you know... I don't know how to put this, almost like lovey-dovey kind of vibe, and they can activate that inside of you. But they can get you to feel emotions for them. I'm finding this one very interesting, guys. Wow. Um, but they're not really f giving their full heart to you. And this is the problem. You see, they'll come back, I do believe, but their heart is in a cage. Do you see that? Their heart is in a cage. They can make you fall in love with them. Think of the devil, right? Think of that TV show, Lucifer, that guy, you know, the Englishman. <laughs> I don't know if you watched that. I've watched it a few times. And that guy, can, this is real charming, you know what I mean? But yeah, he's still the devil, <laughs> you know what I mean? And um, he, they can make you fall for them. And uh, maybe not fall for you. They're very careful with their heart. Ooh, let's see what's going on. There has been conflict about this. You've got a five of wands, a five of swords energy. And the queen of cups comes up here as well. You see the conflict that's coming up here is about love. <laughs> it is about love. You know, it's so interesting that the queen of cups comes up here with the devil energy. Because the queen of cups is like giving her heart to this person. It can even be you giving your heart to them and this is what you expect and where the conflict is coming in is the fact that they got their heart not open like this ready to be given as a gift but behind bars you know so they they got this energy of their heart being closed off it's more about the fun the passion everything else and it's not really about the deeper love energy this is what's creating this conflict between you and them I mean, they make you feel good in those first moments that they contact you. It's like, wow, you know, they're laughing and they're flirty and everything. And then later on, they go, they can easily pull back from you. Because, you know, when somebody is in love with you, they can't stay away from you. They will come. They will be with you constantly. And by the way, this is the thing. This is where we make mistakes. When someone is in love with you, it doesn't mean that they come in now and they spend four days around you, 
talking to you on WhatsApp, hanging around you, wanting to meet you. And then after a little while, you don't hear from them for four weeks, you know, or for four more days or for a week or two, you just, they kind of go cold, gone. And then you're like wondering where are they? Then they come back again. And they say, I come back because I can't stop thinking about you. No, if somebody's in love with you, they won't go away at all. They just keep going in one direction and that's towards you because you are their heir, you are their, their son, you are their nourishment. You know what I mean? They not, they don't need to be fed and then they fool and they go. If somebody loves you, it's a constant hunger. Okay, it's not like I'm satisfied now. Thank you. See you in two weeks. You know, no, it's a constant thing. So that's not love. That's codependency. You see what I'm saying? So let's see in your energy. Yeah, no, things have been going. This could be a reoccurring thing. And every time they come in, you get happy. This, I feel like this is a reoccurring cycle. It's got to be. Because what I'm picking up on, yeah, the way I'm explaining it even, that, you know, they go and then come back and then go and then come back and tell you they love you, but then they disappear for two weeks and you don't hear from them and they come back again and say, I'm back because I love you. No, if you loved me, you wouldn't have left in the first place. Okay, this Wheel of Fortune shows that this is a repeating cycle. But every time they do come back in, they touch you in such a way. They can speak to you in such a way. They're charming towards you in such a way. Um, not necessarily touch you in such a way. They touch your heart. Okay, this is a, a child-friendly channel. <laughs> you know what I mean? But it causes you to become happy. And it causes you to go, I want to be with this person. I, I'm happy to be with them. I'm celebrating when they come in. It's such a wonderful feeling. But what you are avoiding to face is what have they done in the past? Because whatever they've done in the past, they will absolutely repeat it in the future. And you cannot make somebody magically fall deeper in love with you. <laughs> if they keep on repeating the cycle, they're not. They're just doing what they're doing. And sometimes we allow it. I'm just saying. So let's have a look. Yeah, there's a confusion here. Look at this confusion about what to do. What do I do? Does But he keeps coming back. But she keeps coming back. They keep recontacting me. And then what if they really do love me? Just remember what I said. If somebody really does love you, they will not spend time away from you. Think about if you had a baby. That's love. That is love. Can you uh, have a baby and then you, you spend a week with that baby and you're like, oh my goodness, this baby is so amazing. And then you're like, but I'm good now. Take your, I can take my baby to my family. And some people do that, I'm just saying. And um, leave my baby there and I'm going to be fine. And I think people usually do that when there is extenuating circumstances, like somebody has to go to work. And let me tell you, that person at work is in, in a state your heart is breaking, your soul is breaking apart, and you will do anything. Every moment you get, you're going to go running back to that child. And that is what love is. When somebody can just disappear for two weeks and not even try to contact you, reach out. We've got cell phones, okay? We're not, even if you're on the other side of the planet, you can instantaneously get a hold of somebody. There is no excuse. So this person coming in here, I feel like they're just um, doing what they're doing. I don't feel like they, they're coming. They will come in. Yes, they will. But they always create this confusion inside of you as to what is really going on. Now you know. Okay, let's see. What's, let's go deeper. Hierophant energy coming up there. You're going to have to use wisdom here. Let's see. And you might have to protect yourself. You're going to have to go deeper here and use some wisdom going to have to use some wisdom here because of this. I got my light shining through my window. Hello. <laughs> um, it's getting that, that time of the day. So with this Hierophant coming up here, this is also Taurus's energy as well. It talks about you needing to go deeper. Maybe look at things in a more traditional viewpoint as well. Like how did my mom and dad used to do things? How did they get my grandmother, my grandfather? What, what was their way of even speak to somebody like that? who's got a bit of wisdom, that auntie, you know what I mean, that can sort of like talk to you, or older sibling, who's got some experience, and kind of like talk to them, and be like, this is what's going on, I think they're really going to be able to advise you, but this is also you using your inner wisdom towards what's going on in, in here, and it's not the question of, are they going to contact you, I'm going to get one more card out, because this is the problem, you may have to put your walls up against them, with the two of swords, let's see, will they contact you again, let's ask a straight question, because I see if they do, it's going to be the same situation um, and it's the reason why you guys are not together now 
I feel like it's them. They're the one doing that. So let's see. Yeah, they're going to contact you again. But I feel like they're going to release you again. I have to tell you the truth that I'm seeing. Because this is the Two of Pentacles energy. Um, they will come in. Yes, I feel like even now they're juggling perhaps uh, more than one connection. I just have to tell you. They will come in. Because you've got the Ace of Swords there. They will come in. It's going to cause you to get confused. I can. I totally understand I would be too. Um, then at the same time, they will release it again. So that might be why you have to actually put up your walls against them. Unless you want to go through that whole cycle of the Wheel of Fortune again and again and again. And it's going to be up to you to be able to stop that energy. But there we go. Rose number three. Um, honestly, for me, I feel like you should really think about your heart and protect your heart and not allow... Um, somebody to come in and hurt something that's so precious, so unbelievable as a, like as a human soul's energy. We are so more than what we are thinking. We're not just people on this planet. We, you know, running around and what we're doing, what we're doing. We are sacred souls and uh, people need to treat us in such a way. But there we go. Thank you so much for coming in and I'm wishing you all the best moving forward. Thanks for watching. Bye.